So we're on day number two and I'm super tired today. I didn't want to get up out of bed, did I? I just wanted to stay in bed. Daisy bum. Oh, we're off to somewhere called Ride to see what's there and jump on a train to go across the island. Let's start this crazy adventure. Yay! Look at these trains. The ladies just told me that the, they are the old London subway trains, so they're quite small, quite different to back home. <laughs> There is a train station right at the end of a pier. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <coughs> Look at that. Look at the view on there. It's well smart. Whoa. And yet again, it's a wet and windy and cold day. Oh. Are these bit, do these trains still run if? The weather's bad. I mean, it just literally went over the ocean. What if it were like the other day and a big wave came over the track and washed the train train away? <laughs> Would they get cancelled or what? I don't know. <laughs> There's a ferry to go across the island. Here, isn't it? I bet it'd be really nice on a summer's day when sun's out. <laughs> if you want to do some fishing, yeah. you'd be bored after 10 minutes, you. Yeah. Rebecca is making us walk along here and it is absolutely freezing cold I have my Costa What have you got it into? Uh, a cool thing that's as big as a vlog Oh my god it's freezing Jesus Look at that though It is an experience and a half though just do go! Oh dear. I wonder how much it is to jump on one of them ferries to go across the go across the Portsmouth what day and come back. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. So there's the end of the railway and the train station and where that ferry left off to go across the Portsmouth and we've just walked all the way along here. We've still got that bit to ride. It's absolutely bloody freezing. My hands are frozen. It looks really nice over here, though. Another town 
want to explore. Let's see what we can find, eh, Rebecca? Look at them boats there. I wonder if we can go on one of them, eh, Rebecca? Um, that'd be interesting. I like the houses around here. Very nice. Look at this one here with tree going over entrance. It's nice, isn't it, around here? I love the car as well that it has in front Again, I bet it costs quite a bit to live in one of these. But, you know, pay money to get quality. Seems like a nice, quiet little area around here. Look at that big cargo ship over there. It's huge. It's too big. Too big. It's massive. -y. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. We've just walked around the town centre. We walked from that dock, the pier, sorry, up to the town centre, and round back down to the seafront again. There's not much happening around here, is there? <laughs> Wrong time of season. <sighs> so foggy, and mister. Summer's out. Another place we'll have to come back in summer. <laughs> we keep coming to places when it's so cold and wet and miserable. We've only come in summer and it'll probably bloody throw it down knowing us. Rain follow us around like a wet day, I tell you. <laughs> oh dear. It's not as windy. But there's not a lot going on around here. We're just out a season here, everything's closed because it's still winter. Cold. So cold. Get your hands. Honestly. <sighs> so we're walking along the front and there's just nobody out. There's a few dog walkers and people who live around here out and about but Apart from that, there's not really much happening, but I mean, yes, it's cold and wet and windy, but it's better than being stuck indoors as bored at home. But at least we're warm indoors. Yeah, but we're bored. There's nothing to do and we can't film our exciting adventures, can we? Say it in the comment section down below, would you rather be cold and happy or bored and warm? Which one would you rather be on holiday, seeing, visiting somewhere new, or bored, stuck at home with nothing to but do? being warm as well. Well, you know, that's just the way life works. And I don't know. So we're just chilling under this little um, gazebo thing. And this board here with all the attractions on. That tower there is right there. So might just have a quick walk to there. What? What? We'll have a quick walk to that tower and see if it's open. See if we can go up it. And then walk back to the train station. Yeah? Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else going on. Uh, you know, we might as well see if at least one thing is open. We've walked all the way along here so I hope this thing's gonna be open I bet you it's blooming closed bet you any money it's shut we've walked along here for nothing oh, 
please say it's open, please say it's open. Even just to get out of the rain for a bit. You walk round. See what it says on here. Shut. Yeah. It's shut. No, oh, I want to go in. Yeah, like Hello, let us in, please. It's very right miserable. I'd laugh if someone opened it now. <laughs> Stop banging on my door. Mom, what? Behind you. What? Behind you. What? Behind you. I got you. I know. I knew you were faking. It's not fair. Oh well, at least we get a bit of a view from here. It's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. Chat them up and you see what they're up to. Well. They're just on a train on a bit of training in a minute, make sure all the equipment works and things like that. So yeah, just something something different. You were more interested in a bloody dog than yeah, the firefighters. I was watching the firefighters sitting in down and then I felt something touch my leg and then I saw the dog leaning down with the ball in front of me, so I picked up the ball. Whoa! And it went for it. It was really quick that dog. Uh, what's she like? I love so dogs. Uh, shall we go get a nice warm coffee again? Yes. We'll be water will be cold again within about five seconds. So at least our hands will be warm. Look at them! Look at yeah, them! Not for long. Look at them! <laughs> Stuck and they'll no. rescue you. No. Come on. <laughs> you do it. I I'll can't do even it. climb trees. I'm going to get myself I'm stuck up a tree. I'm a wolf person. <laughs> so now it's cleared up a little bit it's not as foggy and misty you can sort of see Portsmouth a little bit clearer that right there if you can see it is the Portsmouth Spear is it called I'm not sure it's like a new tower so yeah you can see right across the ocean now the fog's passed over a little bit clearer. Some more nice houses up there, eh? Would you like to live there? No. No? You, well, yes. You're happy in our house, wherever you live. Yeah. I'd like to live there. I sit out on oh, them balconies. Shoot, Shoot. Oh, do you hate your boo boos again? Shut up! Hate your boo boos again. So there's Ride Castle. Not much of a castle, if you ask me. I think that's the smallest castle that we've seen. Anna. I think it's a castle. It's only a small one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Ten 
10 minutes. I want to go on one. It says two and a half hours. No, it doesn't. It says 10 minutes. I want to go on one. I wonder how much they cost to go on one across to Portsmouth. Oh, I wish we were here longer now so we could go on one. train again going back to South Down uh, Sam, Sandown not South Down Sandown so we were going to yeah. go to Shanklin we were going to stop on the train and get off at Shanklin and have a look on there but I think we're just too cold aren't we yeah we just want to hop in the jacuzzi we're going back to our hotel and going back in the jacuzzi because it's just way too cold and freezing so back to Sandown and then bed <laughs> no bed no <laughs> Jump in a nice ticket, warm jacuzzi and jump in a nice warm bed. Just play in uh, the yeah. tent and for now. They're not interested in that, but in a way. So I'm going to end the vlog there. It's been another absolutely freezing day. I tell you, I couldn't wait to get back to the hotel and just jump in that jacuzzi. I don't think I've ever, ever been so cold. Even when I was in Belfast, I weren't that cold. So it was really nice to jump back in that warm jacuzzi again. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog there. But before I do, I just want to wish all my beautiful viewers an absolutely lovely Valentine's Day. And if you're in a nice, happy relationship, I hope you've been spoiled rotten off you over half. But if you're not and you are single like me at myself, I've got one suggestion for you. Treat yourself to a box of chocolates maybe a bottle of wine get yourself in your favouritest, warmest snuggliest PJs you've got and stick on your most cheesiest romantic favourite film snuggle up in bed and enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>